there are two ways of looking at the Snowden case. One, which is the popular way, conventional wisdom, is to look at him as a whistleblower, a David versus Goliath, a man who says, I'm going to fight the system, who takes some documents and exposes the government. The other way is to look at this as a standard espionage case. After all, you have the biggest heist of secrets in the history of the United States. Nothing has ever come as close. The common thread with all of Ed's work is this in-depth research into it. He'll spend 10 years on a book. There's no urgency where it feels like, oh, I have to pump this out. I have to get this out. I have to be in this news cycle. It is his skepticism, it is his first framing of those questions that led to 60 years of doubt. He is America's national treasure because he, he investigates and uh, he doesn't settle for half-truth. I was stuck in Russia guys who were telling me how, how they were at war with the United States. Excuse me? You guys know what the facility is, yeah? Well, you guys know what this is, this place? Yeah, well, let me tell you, I've been writing a book about Edward Snowden.